what is up and welcome back to the videos so today i'm going to be showing you guys one of the more overlooked parts of carburetor maintenance but before we jump into today's video uh, i've got something awesome to show you guys so the reason why we haven't really been racing uh, is we've been doing some dirt bike reviews and uh, i've been working on merch for the merch store that i'm planning to launch so the merch store is there to support the youtube channel and uh, this is the samples that we got in so we got the mdm trippy t got the 90s enduro bikes and this t-shirt is specifically to support the kdx build which is uh, slowly going nowhere so this one will be in limited quantities we have the mud and dust media logo classic tee now uh, these are good quality tees they are 165 grain 100 percent cotton tees they fit super nice and are nice and soft and then we also have the mdm trippy sweater that i've got on at the moment it's uh not super thick ideal for a rainy day or just a cold morning so uh, this is a 260 gram jersey it's poly fleece and it's got this little soft brush in a super soft super comfortable guys gotta get them as soon as they are available all right so what i'm going to be showing you guys today is how to replace your jet block gasket or the mid-body gasket on your carburetor so the symptoms of a failing jet block gasket is usually the bike would run rich because it creates sort of a vacuum leak within the carb uh, especially if you're going down steep downhills and the bike keeps stalling out that's also another symptom of a failing jet block and just you know if your bike is running shitty in general if you check the jetting you check the needle position check this next super simple to uh, do this job you're going to need a couple of things so once you've got your carb off the bike you're going to need a 14 spanner just to drain the uh, fuel ball a uh, socket a six mil socket to get the jets out a phillips screwdriver some pliers and then the torx allen key that comes supplied with the kit the kit that we decided to go with is the all balls kit and uh, as you can see there there is the part number and all the models so this is for a keenan uh, pwk 38 carb uh, i've got zanes there as well Good kit for him and uh, these i should have replaced when we did some racing last year uh, we did not have the seals in stock or the gaskets in stock so we did not replace them and our bikes are running pretty shitty so uh, we're gonna see if this resolves that problem okay so this is a pretty simple process uh, we're going to start off by using the phillips screwdriver to remove the four screws that hold on the fuel bowl that's of course after you've drained your fuel bowl just be careful these screws are pretty fragile and they strip out pretty easily you also want to make sure that your the surface that you're working on is nice and clean you don't want all kinds of crud to get into your car there you go there's the fuel bowl off what we're going to do next there's a little retaining pin that sits in here that holds the float in with the pliers we're just gonna squeeze it out right there come on got that out and then we can also remove the float and the needle that I just dropped. So the next job is to remove the pilot and the main jet. For the main jet, you'll use the uh, size six socket and they should not be very tight. 
got the main jet over there. Probably there, you might as well check if there's any debris in the jets. And then the pilot jet just takes a flat screwdriver. So up next, we're going to use the Torx. Let's see if it needs to focus. Torx Allen bit that comes supplied with the kit. Now we can remove the jet block. So as you can see, the seal kind of goes around and then folds over in here. And this seal is flat, hard and perished. So we're gonna wipe out the carb over here with a clean rag, just to make sure the mating surface is clean. Pop on the new gasket and then set it in again. Now that uh, we've got the surfaces cleaned, we can pop on the new gasket. Just get it in the correct orientation. You may have to make sure that it seats properly on both sides. Uh, mine was in kind of crooked and it took a little bit of finagling to uh, get it in the right position. So just make sure of that, otherwise it's going to leak and hold it down in position while you're tightening the screws. Now we pop the pilot jet back in. The main jet. Float ball, squeeze the retaining pin back in. And once you have the retaining clip back in for the float, just hold the carb at 45 degrees and the float should sit parallel with the carb body. Put the float ball back on. Tighten down your screws, you obviously don't want to over tighten them. Uh, ideally, while you're there, you might want to replace the float ball gasket as well. You might as well, but uh, we didn't because ours are still sealing fine. And that's the job done. All right, so that's it for this video. I hope you guys found it useful. If you did, Hit that thumbs up button, hit subscribe and drop a comment down below if you had the same issue and if the solution solved your issue. Now I'm going to go through and uh, do Zane's car quickly, throw Michael back on the bike and test it. So uh, thanks for watching, stay tuned for more, peace out and keep ripping.